The Geekbench 6 results reveal some interesting differences between the Mac Mini M4 and the Mac Studio M1 Max. Starting with the single core score, the M4 achieves an impressive score of 3,650, far ahead of the M1 Max's score of 2,311, which represents a 50% increase in single core performance. This massive jump means the M4 excels in tasks that rely heavily on single threaded performance, such as web browsing, document editing, and other everyday tasks. In this category, the M4's improved efficiency per core makes it a clear winner. Moving to the multi-core score, the M4 still leads with a score of 13,513 compared to the M1 Max's 11,926. While the M4 comes out on top, the margin is smaller here, showing only a 13% increase. In demanding workloads like video rendering, compiling code, or multitasking, the M1 Max can still hold its ground. Finally, the Compute Score, which measures GPU performance. The M1 Max takes a significant lead, scoring 73,064, compared to the M4's 36,893. The M1 Max's GPU performance is a massive 98% higher than the M4's. This highlights that while the M4 is more efficient and powerful in general computing tasks, the M1 Max remains the superior choice for graphics heavy workloads. In short, if your focus is on productivity, web browsing, or general performance, the Mac Mini M4 is the better option. But if you're handling video editing, 3D modeling, or GPU heavy creative work, the Mac Studio M1 Max still offers better performance in those demanding areas.